Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here once again, and welcome to another movie review. This is going to be my movie review on Casino, which is a film I wanted to check out for a really long time since Martin Scorsese is one of my favorite directors of all time. Also, um, Don Rickles is in this movie, so rest in peace, Don Rickles. I'm going to dedicate this to him. He was also the voice of Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story, um, all three of the Toy Story films, plus the shorts. You know what I mean. You got a really good cast, so let me start off by saying that. Robert De Niro, which I miss his old career, and uh, Joe Pesci, and you got a really good cast, and um, this was from, yeah. Um, the inner workings of a corrupt Las Vegas casino are, explore, are exposed in Martin Scorsese's story of crime and punishment. Um, this film chronicles the lives and times of three characters. Ace, um, played by Robert De Niro, uh, bookmaking wizard, uh, Nicky Santoro, played by Joe Pesci, a mafia underboss and longtime best friend to uh, Ace, and Ginger McKenna, played by Sharon Stone, in a role she was born to play. Uh, a legy ex-prostitute with a fondness for jewelry and pension for playing the field. Ace play um Ace plays uh by the rules um Albert Vegas uh rules which as he reminds the audience in voiceover would make him a criminal in any other state. While Nikki and Ginger lie, cheat and steal their respective ways to the top um the film's first hour and uh, half details their rise to power, while the second half falls their downfall as the FBI, corrupt government officials, and angry mob bosses pick apart their Camelot piece by piece, which is the main plot of the movie, of course. And um, let me start by saying, a violent movie. This is a very violent movie. I would say kind of more violent than Goodfellas was. Like, Martin Scorsese is known for making dramatic, um, violent, um, not too, I mean, not all of his movies are violent, like Hugo, for example, and, um, Shutter Island was, wasn't that violent, but this one, there's so many scenes, well, not a whole lot of scenes, there was this one scene near the end of the movie where there's just being this one guy with a bat, with bats, and just burying him while he was still breathing. Like, but that's not what I got into this movie for. Or, that's not the main... Look, 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 look. That's not the reason why this movie was good. There was so many... Just so many stuff about this movie that it's just... Sometimes hard to watch. Like, if you're offended by swearing, because there's a lot of swearing in this movie. Then you probably won't be a fan of this movie. I, for one, thought this was a very excellent movie. Martin Scorsese's direction was very... Fantastic, and let me just say, this is an amazing looking mo movie. The sets, and from the opening all the way up to the end. For a three hour long movie, this was one of his most entertaining films. That I can highly suggest recommending if you haven't seen this film, and if you are a fan of Martin Scorsese. And, as well as Robert De Niro, giving one of his best roles I have ever seen from him. And, um, there's just... So much more to like about this film, which, uh, that's pretty much all to it. Martin Scorsese does a great job. Uh, of course, I mean, God, what am I saying here? I mean, all I can say is I really like this movie. This was an amazing time for me. Overall, I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Definitely worth checking out. Sorry if this review was terrible, but yeah. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Word out.